All right, now to the Art Prize Awards. A new batch of artists will be joining the ranks of past Art Prize winners. A live look tonight at Rosa Parks Circle, where the award show will start in about 30 minutes. The competition has come a long way since 2009. Marley Ginter takes a look back with Kevin Beist, one of only two Art Prize employees who have been with the team since year one. Did you expect it to turn out like this? No, I mean, you know, our prize the first year in 2009, we just, we knew that it would be big, but we had no idea it would be this big. Um, and I remember walking here in Monroe Center and just seeing um, restaurants run out of food and trash and recycling, like, overflowing, because it's like the city just wasn't quite ready for what a phenomenon it became. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been kind of a wild ride since then, especially that first year where um, we just really didn't know how big it would be. What was that first year of planning like? Oh, it was a total whirlwind. I mean, we, you know, so the first Art Prize was in 2009, in the fall of 2009, but we didn't really decide that we were doing it until about January or February of 2009 of that same year. Wow. So we announced publicly in April. And so from the time it went public to the time it, uh, the event actually happened in September was six months. So it felt a little like we were putting the wings on the plane as we were going down the runway. When you look around and you see all the people that just come right here near Rosa Park Circle, these streets get packed. Our programming, um, Monroe Center and Rosa Park Circle with all this activity is a response to the way that the crowds flow naturally. But during that first art prize, it was like the weekends, including Sundays, were just packed down here. And people were just sort of flabbergasted that like um, restaurants weren't open, that Starbucks closed at four and all this other stuff. And all that's changed since then. When you walk the city and you see all of the different things around here, aren't you proud of what you guys have done? Yeah, it's not that we built everything, it's not that we made all this art, it's that we invited people and they responded uh, in this incredibly generous and creative way. You know, these pedestrian bridges, this Gillette Bridge and the Blue Bridge, um, you know, they don't see a whole lot of activity or foot traffic when it's not our prize, you know? So it's, but for our prize, it's like they're the perfect conduit between um, these large venue locations and museums and, you know, uh, different sides of the city. You know, from the get-go, the, the show was meant to be uh, you know, populated and programmed by the people who want to be involved, by the community itself and by artists who come in from around the world. And so in that sense, our, what, what our prize is and what it looks like has always been really an open question. You know, we love the art prize competition and we love the public vote and, you know, you get your app and you get your map and you do your thing. And that's not going away. We're shifting that to every other year. But um, in the project years, starting next year, we're really excited to approach those, those questions with fresh eyes um, with incredible international artists. We really don't know what we'll see 10, 20, 30 years from now with our oh, prize. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think that, you know, um, 10 years is not that old for an organization. And we have a track record of, um, of constantly evolving and kind of innovating. And I think that's, that's what it should be. There's, it's, never, it's never been a static thing, and, it's, and it won't be in the future. Marley Ginter reporting. Boy, 10 years went fast. It sure did. You look back at that video. Yeah. We're taking that trip down memory lane tonight with Art Prize. Let's take a look back at all the public vote winners through the years. Rand Ortner kicked it off back in 2009 with his painting of Open Water Number 24. Grand Rapids' own Chris Laporte won the next year for his amazing pencil drawing, Cavalry. After taking second place in 2010, Maya Tavanati came back to win it all the next year with her glass mosaic crucifixion. In 2012, Adana Kerr winning the public vote for her pencil drawing, Elephants. And in 2013, the first win for Anne Loveless with her quilt of the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. And art prize history made in 2014 when Anila Kwam Aga winning the public and juried grand prizes for intersections. 2015, Ann Loveless teaming back up with her husband, Steve, for Northwood Awakening, becoming the first ever two-time champ. Two years ago, James Mellick won for Wounded Warrior Dogs. And then last year, Richard Schlatter from Battle Creek took home the top prize for a portrait of Abraham Lincoln using pennies.